Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. I grew up in Lee County, South Carolina, and way out in the country, 16 miles from anywhere. But it was a great place to grow up. And to think about that, that setting, I mean, out there, all that property, from our house to the road was a good football field length, and the width of the yard and all this, and then no night lights, that, and so you could see the stars. It was just a great place. And I remember in the early teenage years having a party at the house and had all the friends over and we were doing all kind of stuff. And, and somebody came up with a, a chase game, much like hide and seek. But remember, we were teenagers then, so we couldn't be childlike. So we didn't play hide and seek, but that's basically what it was. And we were running all over the place and scaring each other and tagging and all that. When we finally got tired out and, and one of the friends said, let's go back in the house and get something to drink. So that's what we we're doing. We we're walking back into the house when we heard one of the friends holler like you would not believe it. It was one of those when he hollered, you knew he was in pain. So we got a flashlight and we rushed back out in the yard, tried to find him, and we found him because he had found our rose bush in the yard, right in the middle of the yard, one of the biggest old, that old fashioned rose bush, it was tall, it was wide, and thorns, oh, it could tear you apart. And he had run wide open in that. So we got him out of that rose bush and into the house and started trying to get him cleaned up. My mom came and bandaging him up and getting it all straight. And somebody made a comment about, why did you do that? And he said, well, I was running. He, they said, we had already stopped. We had already stopped playing. But see, he was running from nobody. And look what happened to him. In Proverbs 28, verse 1, we read these words. The wicked man flees, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. And so think about it. Are you running, though nobody is pursuing you? Are you scared to let God take control of your life? Are you running from Him? Well, He's on the throne He's not running in to chase you down, but He offers you love. And so instead of running, running from all these things that you're worrying about, why not run to God? Crawl up into His lap and let Him take care of you. And I love that part. It says, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. So those times that you need to be strong, remember the strength comes from the Lord. Don't fear Him. Trust Him. Trust Him today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we need you to be in our lives. But why do we run from you? Why do we run from so many things, Lord, that just wants to help us and guide us? Lord, just we pray now that you would lead us in a special way. Lord, there's times for us today to be bold. Let us do that. But I pray for each person that's listening, watching this, that they will find strength in you today. And Lord, stop running from, the, from fear, but run in trust to you. Call, to, to climb up into your arms and feel your love in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today, won't you run to the arms of God?